Good morning, Cougars. Cougars. I'm Kate, and today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. And I'm Lindsay, and it's a red day. Please, Please rise, rise and join us today. for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have beef taco salad, cheese quesadilla, or chicken tinga quesadilla. The premium meal is spicy chicken sandwich. And the sides are fiesta black beans, shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, tossed salad, pears, cinnamon apples, milk, or juice. For tomorrow's lunch, we have popcorn chicken with hot roll and cheesy bread or pepperoni cheesy bread. The premium meal is Bosco breadsticks with marinara. And the sides are mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, tossed salad, peaches, fresh pineapple, milk, or juice. It's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's joke time. And I have a great one. What's a ghost's favorite food to eat? I don't know. What? Burritos. <laughs> Each month we focus on a character with that we should all try to practice, model, and hopefully make a habit in our daily lives. Yes, we do. And October's character word is self-control. And it means being able to control your emotions and actions even in, even in tough situations. We can show this by using appropriate language. Listen up, Cougars, we have some clarification on our announcement from last week about evacuating the building when you are not in a classroom. When we need to evacuate the building for any reason and it's during passing time, you should find the nearest exit and then find your life ed teacher. Again, if evacuating the building and you are not in a classroom, find the closest exit, get outside, then find your life ed teacher. It is important that we're all safe and accounted for when there is an emergency evacuation of any kind. Listen up, Cougars. Make sure you are grabbing your copy of the 2022-23 yearbook. They are $27 and can be purchased at www.dostons.com. You will definitely want to relive all that fun assemblies, dances, concerts, sporting events, and all the other fun stuff we, that, and memories that will be made. And you will mostly want to look back at how awesome you and your friends were in 2022 and 23. So make sure you are ordering yours now before the price goes up. Hey, so I love Culver's. So do I. And if you and your family love Culver's too and love helping our school, make sure you stop in at Culver's on 64th Street tomorrow, October 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. to help support our awesome PTA who, ter who in turn supports all of us here at Congress. 10% of the sales during that time will be given to Congress Middle School. Make sure to tell your parents, guardians, aunts, uncles, and anyone else who you think would want to help support our school. Again, that's tomorrow, Wednesday, October 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. See you there. Hey, did you hear that we are celebrating Red Ribbon Week this week? I did, and we're having some sp fun spirit dress-up days to celebrate our school being drug-free. Yes, we are and your involvement can earn you points towards the Cougar Cup. Today's dress up day is My Future is Bright. You should be wearing hats and or sunglasses to get those points. Teachers, please enter your Spirit Day count in the link that Ms. Fadre sent out this morning. Tomorrow's dress up day is Team Up Against Drugs, which means we should wear our clothes that represent our favorite team. To get those Cougar Cup points on Thursday, you will need to wear PJs for Put Drugs to Sleep dress up day. And Friday is the Our School is Drug Feast Spirit Day, and we should wear our team t-shirts. Make sure you're showing your pride for being part of our drug-free school during Red Ribbon Week and earn your team those Cougar Cup points. And if you forget what the dress-up days are, just look around the school and you will find a flyer to remind you. Since we are talking about Cougar Cup points, let's take a look at the current standings after our first official pride check in yesterday's Spirit Day. Yes, let's do. Currently tied for last place with five points is Trailblazers and Cyclones. In fourth place is with six points is Thunder. Tied for second place is Challengers and Mavericks with seven points. And currently in first place with 12 points is the Explorers. Wow, there's a lot of ties right now and it is anyone's game. Make sure you are participating in the dress up days so your team can earn those points. Don't forget, the library will be hosting a book fair from October 28th to November 3rd from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. They will also be open during parent-teacher conferences so you can shop with your parents. It'll be in the library and online at, the web, at this at web address, www.scholastic.com slash bf slash congressmiddleschool.
And here is a close-up sneak peek of Haiku, one of the books that you can purchase there. Wow, that looks so cool. I will be checking it out for sure. Me too, and make sure you check out the book fair as well. Listen up, Cougars. Mark your calendars and tell your parents and or guardians that on Friday, November 11th, Congress will be hosting coffee and donuts to honor our veterans. Parents, guardians, or grandparents who are veterans are welcome to attend with their Congress student from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. We want to say thank you and acknowledge you their commitment to our country. If you have a family member or guardian who would like to attend, they need to make a reservation on the Sign Up Genius by Wednesday, November 9th. Again, reservations are required to participate in this event. So if you have someone who is planning on attending, have them go to the Congress website and sign up on the Veterans Coffee and Donuts Sign Up Genius. Hey, sixth graders, listen up. If you are interested in becoming a member of Student Council, your opportunity is now. Applications for 6th grade students only will be open now until 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, November 9th. The application is only the first step. You will also need to do a brief interview with the advisors the week of the 14th. Mrs. Fadre will email you your interview time after the application deadline. All applicants will receive an email on Friday, November 18th, letting them know if they were in or not. If you have any questions, let Mrs. Fadre or Mrs. Shaw know. Listen up, Cougars. It is time for second quarter intramural sign-up. Sign-ups will be open Monday, October 31st at 6 p.m. Intramurals will be November 8th through December 15th on Tuesdays and Thursdays until 3.30 p.m. Unfortunately, we, do, we will not be able to offer transportation again this quarter. So, if you need, so you will need to have a ride pick you up at that time. The clubs that will be offered during intramurals include on Tuesdays, Disney movies, Minecraft, disc golf, manis and movies, and band practice. The Thursday options are games and D&D, Harry Potter, seasonal crafts, and puzzles. Make sure that you keep an eye out for the sign-up form that will be going out on Monday, October 31st at 6 p.m. Today's LGBTQ influential person is Sir, is Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John was born as a Reginald Kenneth Dwight on March 25, 1947. He announced he was bisexual in 1976 and has been openly gay since 1988. He entered into a civil partnership with Canadian filmmaker David Furnish in 2005. They married after same-sex marriage became legal in England and Wales in 2014. Elton John started playing the piano at the age of four. Since the age, at the age of 11, he won a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music. Fun fact, his good friend Stevie Wonder played harmonica in Elton's song called I Guess That's Why They Call It The Blues. And he started wearing glasses to copy one of his idols, Buddy Holly. After a while, his eyes adjusted to the lenses and he had to wear glasses ever since. He was inducted into the American Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1992 and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994. Stay tuned for more influential people later this week as we, as we finish our LGBTQ History Month celebration. Listen up, Honor Choir members. There will be Honor Choir after school today until 3.15 p.m. Again, if you are an Honor Choir member, you will need to report to Room 501 for Honor Choir right after the school today until 3.15. Hey, you know how we love all of our amazing teachers and staff here at CMS? Let's make sure we are showing how much we appreciate all that they do for us. That's right. What a better way to show love and appreciation for our teachers and staff here at Congress than to fill out a Thank a Teacher slash Staff Member form. 
Teachers, please remind your tutorial students to go to our Congress homepage and complete the Thank a Teacher slash Staffs member form sometime this week. Also, this week is Bus Driver Appreciation Week. Make sure that you are thanking your bus driver for all that they do in getting you to school home every day. Yes, make sure to give them a shout out sometime this week, or even better, every day this week to show them your appreciation. And that's a wrap. I'm Kate, and today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. And I'm Lindsay, and it's a red day. Have, Have an, an awesome, awesome day, Cougars. Cougars.